Hi there, Joka here, and today I'm sharing a few cards with the new Spellbinders Add to Cart collection. When I first saw some pictures of this collection, I like I couldn't contain my joy. I mean, it was just so cute. I think it's such an amazing idea, and it's so well designed. Uh, all these add-ons, it's just wonderful. You can create... Um, so this is kind of a Christmas collection, but you can totally use it the whole year with diff for different um, occasions. It's really sky's the limit. So this add-on here, so you have the basic uh, shopping cart and then you have some add-ons uh, like this one here. I, I assume all these rectangles are uh, for um, presents or... Um, that that's what I imagine. Then you have a, a bow, you have a Christmas tree with um, decorations and stuff. And then you have this add-on that is um, two different size shopping bags. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I don't know. I never think of these cool ideas. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I, I couldn't wait to play with this one. So... Um, there is a video, I believe, on the Spellbinders channel where the this this designer who um, designed this collection, Becky Roberts, um, created. Sorry, I forgot the beginning of my sentence. Anyway, I'm starting over. Um, so there is a video where she shows how to put the um, put this cart together, which is I had to watch it as well just to be sure. Um, as far as I understood from looking at the dies, there's two different uh, sized um, bottom pieces, which I assume is for creating two different widths of baskets. I use the larger one, so so I have like a deeper basket. And here, uh, you die cut two of these pieces, but you will only use one at that size, and then the second one you will have to trim off for the front of the basket you just need a little bit uh, shorter piece but um, if this is too quick for you just watch her video because I believe um, she shows it better than I do um, so I'm assembling my cart and I used um, a pink card stock from Spabinders for the card itself and um, for the wheels that's also both of them are Spabinders card stock and the gold one is a matte finish um, a gold card stock from Nouveau um, yeah so it's really simple actually to put it together you have a little handle it's so fun i, I just really love it so um there's some decorative pieces there and then i'm moving on to the bags which are my absolute favorite i mean they are exactly like the shopping bags um you know i, I don't know if any of you <laughs> used to collect these uh, seriously, I, I don't even know if I should admit to this. Um, I used to collect these paper bags. I never used them because I never wanted them to be ruined or, you know, you know, <laughs> look used or anything. But there's so many fun designs that you get from shops that, I don't know, I just used to collect them. But uh, at some point I realized that I'm, I'm really just a hoarder, so I got rid of them. Well, yeah, <laughs> but so this is probably the reason why I was really happy with these. Um, and then you you get two different handles. Um, so it's really really fun to play with the designs, what kind of patterns you want to use, and what kind of color, different color handle, or you know it's fun um as for the christmas tree you cannot see this because of the pattern that i used um but you can kind of form that christmas tree a little bit it's um 
it, it's die cut in a way that you have some so some of the tree is not i don't know how to explain this but there's a part of the tree is die cut so you can fold up parts of the tree so there's a little bit of dimension there um now i'm trying to fill my bags with something with some kind of presence or you know and for this i'm using some die cuts from um these are from the simple stories um winter cottage collection from last year and i thought they were fun they were quite i mean the size sizes were quite all right um so i'm using some mittens some um whatever those are called those ski you see <laughs> you have no idea about skiing so i don't even know what those sticks are called um so yeah i'm just filling them um up and so the first card i'm doing an a2 size this paper here is actually from a, a fall collection i think that was also simple stories but i you know this kind of plaid pattern works for any occasion and what i wanted to mention is um that if you have scrapbook collections then you will have a lot of different um embellishments and those embellishments you can use for filling up your little shopping bags here um they don't have to be die cuts you can use puffy stickers stickers whatever you have chipboards and because scrapbook collections are usually themed you can really create any themed card i'm really looking forward to create something else other than christmas with this i really hope i will have time sometime because i don't scrapbook a lot anymore and it's a shame that i have so many scrapbook collections so you know some of the theme stuff i could never use because i don't like using those on layouts that are not themed so all those things i could use for cards i'm gonna have to look around what i have so these little presents are also from um the ephemeral pack from that collection and as you could see i i put some tissue paper in those paper bags as well because that's kind of how it's supposed to be right uh, i was just sorry that um, i have some really nice tissue papers but they have bigger scale designs so like bigger polka dots or you know they they would just not show in this small size so i just decided to go with simple white and simple pink so i have this stamp set from ages ago from studio calico and they um there's a, a few tiny stamps in there and uh, they are not christmasy but i thought they would work this one is with love and then there was hello and there was for you so those are the ones that i'm going to use on this little tag that also is a die in the in this bag die kit now for the second card this is pretty much the same as the first card just different colors really and i just fill the um, paper bags with different things but otherwise the whole setup the whole design of the card um, is the same here i just added some uh, enamel dots on the handles which actually i did because i uh, glued them that down the wrong way um and the basket or shopping cart i die cut from also um a nouveau like a metallic cardstock but it's also matte and it's a red color which i've never used before and it's it's really gorgeous and so that's what i used and i really wanted to use that uh, wreath but i didn't like it the way i i placed it first so i'm just gonna tuck it in that um shopping bag there 
And here I use the light pink tissue paper. And in this one, I was trying to use the polka dot one, but I am going to change that because it ju you just couldn't see the design. So to avoid um, having too many patterns and too many colors there, I changed it to white. And I created some gifts or gift boxes with the dice that come in one of the add-ons. And I'm just adding a, um, a bow at the top. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is the way you're supposed to use it. But um, yeah, this is how I used it. And on the previous card, I also added the bow. Um, well, again, I formed like a flower shape with it, but I'm not sure if that's... You know that's how you were supposed to but i guess it's really up to you whatever you uh, see in that die um is you know is what you should do is what i say <laughs> but you know and for my third card i decided to go uh, with a slimline card and not use the the shopping cart itself just the bags because like i said i'm i've always been obsessed with paper bags so and also i found a chipboard piece that i really liked in an old um, my mind's eye, eye collection so i wanted to this one here i wanted to use that for my sentiment so that one takes up quite a bit of uh, space there so um, yeah I didn't want to use the shopping cart as well so I'm uh, again filling up my bags with uh, tissue paper and if you can see this polka dot um, paper I also added um, some stripes at the top for contrast and just a little fun and now I'm gluing down all my bags and by the way I, at some point I'm sure I showed it I just didn't notice while I was talking um, not to create such a dimensional piece uh, you can also fold back uh, the the bottom of the bag just like in case of the real paper bags so that is what I did on all of my projects because uh, otherwise they were too thick then two two just didn't fit into the cart that well so um yeah and that's what i did here as well and then i'm added uh, i've added some uh, hats and pullovers and stuff like that in the bags and here i'm using the same kind of bow as uh, on my um, first card again i don't know if this is the way you should put it together but um that's kind of what i liked and Again, I'm adding a little die cut tag and I will use the same stamp set again, but this time I will add the different sentiment. It would be really cool if there was um, some Christmassy sentiment there, but um, yeah. So with this collection, actually, by the way, what I wanted to mention, this add to cart collection, there's also a stamp set, which I don't have, but it's so fun because you can... Um, create like sale signs on your bags it's so cool uh, i will link that in the description box below as well just uh, so that you check it out i think it's really great to have that okay so here are my finished cards i hope i could inspire you in one way or another and um, i hope that you enjoyed uh, this video even if i'm blabber too much Thank you very much for um, stopping by and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.